lights off. Hello so everyone, Ruler, I'm Eric Schmoris. Welcome back. Kung Fu Panda, episode 7. We are officially past the halfway mark, at least from gamer score perspective. Uh, I think we're a little- there should be definitely past the halfway mark Whoa! on actual, What's like, up? game Focus. You play. Here with these but we'll see on that. Okay. I just ate. I'm still digesting, so my kung fu might not be as good as later on. I I, I did all the I've never paid attention to that. That's why there's those windows because the people are controlling the. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Why there's windows with people all over? They're controlling the uh, the things. Shut up. All right, so really the issue, I think we've established the issue's going to be the final room. Uh, so I'm going to worry about, see the thing is I need to complete this 100%, which means I need to get through it in, a ma in like a timely manner, but at the same time, to perform a charge strong attack. I really, strong Ooh, attack. that was wrong. Good job. Perform a panda quake. And, and I don't care about grinding, nice. so take them all. The it did not take them all out. Hmm. All right. Panda quakes all the way up. Which kind of makes me scared that it didn't kill all of them in one hit. So it probably just br Before makes the, the fast, health fast, more. I guess it's not really a bad thing. Like, who cares? Like, who cares if these guys are stronger? It's not gonna affect me being able to all the training dummies in this room. get through without uh. Let's see. Getting hit. See, I'll worry about the time unless I'm really doing a good job of not getting hit. If I'm doing, if I do a good job of not getting hit, then obviously that's going to be the main focus because I I can come back here and do 100% easily. It, I mean, especially with invulnerability, I don't need to worry about getting killed. Ugh. Oh, that stupid mistake. Just belly flop. Just worry about the belly flop. Just flop that belly. Let that take take out everything. There we go. So I got all of them. I got one of the things. That's the only coin in this level. Um. So you think you're the dragon warrior? <laughs> Listen, I will say nothing against Master Ugwe, and I don't know how you managed to get this far, but let me put it this way. All right. I think my record is safe. Can you beat Tigress? Uh, sure. Let's go for it. Oh, don't know how I fell down there. Also think I might have gotten hit. Uh, I couldn't tell. It sounded like I got hit, but I couldn't tell if that was... Like, they didn't stop. I think they... I think they, like, actually are affected if I if I hit them. I mean, like, a lot of them are. I, so I don't know if all of them are. No, because I heard the, the slice sound and I was nowhere near it, so... I'm gonna guess that it wasn't... I didn't do it. Um, Where's the last one? Oh, over there. There we go. All right, monkey. Well, look who made it. Not bad for a panda, I mean. Thanks, Master Monkey. Wow, I just thank Master Monkey. But that last room was a mere warm-up for this one. I'd like to see you break my record. 
All right, I'll do it. Can you beat monkeys? Oh, you fucker! I got hit in the one area where I was like, oh, I'm safe here. God damn it. All right. So, uh, hopefully some of those other levels are uh, fairly easy to... Fuck, I, I fell too. Like, I'm not, I'm not even on, like, I'm not even doing good job, period. <laughs> oh, I didn't grab onto this one. I tried to go forward more. That might have been my issue. Uh, well, I guess I can just focus on the time trials then. Which is good, because holy crap, they are... Well, I don't have my fast attack and everything upgraded. Shit. I didn't I didn't keep up my height. But at least now I can just rush through. I, I th This level with it timed, I guess it's, it, it's a little less stressful to just have to rush... Just be able to rush through. And not have to worry about, uh, anything else. But level two might not be too difficult. If I have, if I have the Panda Quake, it's really just Tigress's area that's the difficult part. And, honestly, as long as I pay attention to the Quake Time events, first of all. But, honestly, Tigress, I can get, I, like, I was... When I actually tried, I was doing a decent job of avoiding the attacks. And then just guarding. Actually, I might even be able to just guard. Like, I, I don't know if I need to avoid, period. I might have enough shield to be able to just block. Looking for me, Poe? Master B Viper. Wow. You even know my name. Of course I do. But I'm afraid your good fortune is about to run out. Oh, this is my darn. And my record. Both are unbeatable. Oh. Can you beat Vipers? No. So, we got these guys. I don't really care. I mean, I'll just... I don't need to use my belly flop. Oh, he also can't attack if I do this. That that would be quicker. I didn't... I didn't realize he was just like the smaller ones where it's like, Oh, if you do that, then it kind of interrupts his attacks. Well, I got sliced in the face, so that was an issue. I want to see if I... I proved that I could get past these areas if I take my time. Well, I proved I could get past the other one, at least. Without getting hit if I take my time. I want to see if I can get past the... All of this. Just as, like, a proof of, like, if I need to do this level, I can get past every part. Maybe not all in one go. I haven't been able to get past every part without getting hit. Okay, that one I need to wait the other way. Uh, yep, just this guy. Well, at least 100% this level. Almost fell. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> I love how it just... I jumped down and it stopped in the landing animation. It did, It was just like, I must say, okay, I'm, I'm frozen. I wasn't so bad. Now we got the worst I've level ever. So. Yeah, all the time. I just use my fancy kung fu moves is all. Do not be fooled, Panda. You still have a long way to go if you are indeed the Dragon Warrior, as Master Ukwe believes. Okay. So, how much time do you Never think this is going to take? Okay. Long, long, I'm looking long. at the next level, all of the collectibles. They're not that bad. The level itself sucks, but the collectibles aren't bad. Basic stats. Basic stats. Let's upgrade some of the basic stats. Wait a minute, what? Oh! How? 
that that's fucking bullshit, but I'll take it. I absolutely got hit. Is it because do the traps not count? Is it because I didn't get hit by any enemies? The traps don't count? Because to be fair, I never actually finished the third level any of the times when I got hit. I think I gave up every time. That would be... F I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take the bullshit. I don't deserve that in the slightest. But I'll take it. So, um, let's see, actually. I think that means the only achievements I have now are the secret achievements, which are all the Dragon Warrior ones. Uh, unlock everything and make it through the entire game without dying. See, I... Oh my god, that was amazing. I didn't even think anything of it, because I, I... The achievement popped up, I'm like, oh, I probably got 100%. His legend spread uh, oh, well, I mean, like, oh, I got 100%. Oh, whatever. Then a second one popped up. I'm like, well, there's only one achievement I could have gotten because I definitely didn't get unlock everything and definitely didn't make it through the entire game without dying. Jesus. Oh, okay. Whew. That is, you, you don't, I, that is like a huge weight off my shoulders. That's like. Hey, I don't have to deal with this Ooh, anymore. Like See, the guide that I saw, like the top rated guy on true guide, guide on true achievements, says about oh, do level nine because there's no traps. It's easier to avoid everything. But apparently, the traps don't mean shit. You could get hit by the traps. Who gives a shit? They like it doesn't matter. All right, so this level. They just winged me. for Master Shifu. This level, I didn't, I didn't do too bad the second time I did it. The only time I did bad, the only time I did bad was the first time where I lost an artifact on the very last wave. Like that, that actually is the only time I lost an artifact. Oh, we got the fucking inverted up and down. I see. I'm like, I'm, I'm. I guess normal. Well, I don't know if it's normal. I don't know how many ac people actually play with inverted when it's like first person shooters. Most of the people I know don't play inverted. So. But I'm I'm absolutely like normal, regular, no inverted n inverted nothing. X Y doesn't matter. All of them regular. But the one thing I'm definitely different with people in is like f and like, so many people, it's like flying, like in GTA or any any kind of game where you're flying a plane, have inverted flight controls. You know, down goes up, up goes down. I don't do that. <laughs> like, I can do those, but most of the time, like, especially like this, I'm complaining because it's inverted now. Like, down's making me go up, up's making me go down. I'm the kind, I like, I can't have that inverted. It, it just annoys the hell out of me. Although in this, it's not even really like a... It's not really like a plane, because you're not staying behind it. It's literally moving on the screen, so... Yeah, got that first try. So it does... To me, it seems kind of weird. It'd be inverted, period. Whether you like it or... N whether you like inverted flying controls or not. But yeah, I'm, I'm just weird. It's like, oh, well, inverted flying controls? No, that's, that's not happening. Same, th same thing with swimming. Swimming some games. I want to say Banjo-Kazooie, one of them's inverted. One of them's inverted. Either the swimming or the flying or both. And it annoys the hell out of me. Because like when I start playing the game, it confuses me. It like, confuses the hell out of me. So I got the coin. The... One's in the other coins in the red room, which I have to go there anyway during the during the thing. Uh, and then there's the crane figurine, which is I'll I'll deal with when I'm not worrying about people stealing. Like like right now. 
we have the thieves. I'm not gonna worry about it now. Uh, I'll worry about it when I just have people attacking me. So next wave. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, so now I'll go. It said go to the pool. It's, oh, yeah, right here. Got it. Crane. That was one of the ones I missed before, I think. I missed what? Five? I missed one here. I missed the Poe figurine in the first level. I missed one of the coins in one of the levels because I it was when I didn't think I needed them so I was like ah well this one seems like it's a, gonna be a pain in the ass to get I'm just gonna ignore it and then realized I shouldn't have ignored it when do I get checkpoints I know like I know I do the thing every four but is there a checkpoint every four as well Nope. You're coming with me. Alright, so we're good now, just because... Got a checkpoint, so it's a checkpoint after the fourth one. Oh! I missed the roll. I mentioned... Speaking of Banjo-Kazooie, one game that I kind of, like, want to play, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know is uh, that ukulele. Who knows, I might have played it by the time this comes out. That's, that's the weird thing, it's like, uh, you know what, I really wanna play ukulele. I might have played it like two weeks ago from the time this comes out. But I, I do kinda wanna play it. The only thing about it is, just looking at it, it looks like a cheap Banjo-Kazooie ripoff. Well, maybe not a cheap ripoff, but it just looks like a Banjo-Kazooie, like, ripoff. Which, I know it's supposed to be like, oh, it's supposed to have, like, the style of Banjo-Kazooie. But there's a huge difference between having the style of a game and basically being a, almost a copy of the game. Like, I, I noticed, like, when they do the dialogue, it's, it's not even just the art style or whatever. Like, they do the dialogue, and the dialogue setup. Like, I think it use, it uses, like, the same, like, oh, we'll have a black black thing up top with the, the character's face. We'll have a thing on the, uh, another one on the bottom with the character's face. I think it even uses, like, a similar, I think it even uses, like, a similar font and such, which is, like, it's one of those, it almost tried to be Banjo-Kazooie instead of trying to just be a game that uses, like, features that Banjo-Kazooie had that made Ban- like, that, you know, trying to embody what made Banjo-Kazooie great. It seems more like, oh, well, let's just copy Banjo-Kazooie. Like, alright. Like, they even have the transformations and such where it's like oh you'll you get transformed into a bunch of different things it's like well because that didn't happen in every banjo kazooie game ever <laughs> i say every banjo kazooie game ever technically didn't happen in nuts and bolts but it happened in the other three uh and what i mean by other three i'm including the game boy advanced one uh 
But yeah, it, it just... Like, I'm sure it's one of those, it's fun, but... It's probably fun in the sense that, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie was fun too, but... I, I, I feel like it's one of those, it it, it... it tried to copy too much of Banjo-Kazooie rather than trying to do its own thing and have some of the things that made Banjo-Kazooie great. So, I don't know. I still, it's still one of those at some time I want to play it. But I think right now, what was it? It was like 40 bucks or something? And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna... I have so many other games I want to play, and this one's also one that I'm on the fence about. I'm not gonna spend 40 bucks on a game that I'm on the fence about. <laughs> when I could just play any of the games that I already have. Speaking of, one of the games that I do kind of want to get, which is like half the price, and kind of has that like older platformer kind of game feel, without feeling like it's copying anything, that Snake Pass. I saw a little bit of that, and that actually looks kind of fun. It kind of feels like one of the, like the old school like platformer kind of games. Like 3D platformer kind of games, but at the same time, it has its compl uh, like completely unique take on it. So it's one of those that's like I actually kind of want to play this. <laughs> Again, the only reason I haven't gotten it and played it is because I have like 50 million games I'm trying to play. So many games that it's like, oh, let's can let's finish this, let's play this, let's. So it's like, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll wait to start anything new. <laughs> um, so you're here. Were you the last one? No thieves? Alright. I still have everything, right? Good. So I have... Three more waves, or two more waves, and both of them have thieves. Good. I forgot they didn't really go easy on the thieves. In the last section. I hear one of them. Luckily they, like, yell when they steal something. Did one of them go out the back? I think one of them stole something. Oh, there they are. Fuck me. Fuck me. Um. Okay, that. That was my fault. Mostly because it's like, oh, they're going out the back. Oh, well. Or, or I mean, it's like, they're going out the front. Oh, let's look at the back entrances. So that one was a little. That one was kind of my fault. Good thing it happened in the middle. Uh, it didn't happen right at the end of a freaking episode, so... Or a, a... Wave. I don't know why I've said episode. I'm trying to think, what other games... Do I... Ha I have so many games that I've... Not necessarily... Like, I have games that I've played... That it's like, I either need to go through and finish them 100%. Or games that I need to, like, that I might have played, like, a tiny bit and I need to actually sit down and finish them. I still... Spy Chameleon. When, when did I do that series? That was, like, forever ago. And I still have that one achievement to, like, oh, f you know, get a combined time of, like, 18 minutes or whatever it is. Which... I found out, like, a, well, I didn't find it out, someone else, like, I saw it on True Achievements and it suggested it, and it's like, oh, that actually makes sense. A good way to try to do it is figure out which ones you're at a low position on the leaderboard and try to improve those times. Because, obviously, if you're at a high position on the re leaderboard, like, if you, uh, are close to the top of the leaderboard, and there's a few where I'm, like, in double digits... Granted, there's probably not a ton of people that played it, but 
I mean, obviously being in double digits is better than the ones that I'm like, oh, you're number like 4,076. But basically, if you, uh, oh, that was the last wave. Awesome. Um, but basically, if you try to improve those times where you're at a low position on the leaderboard, those are the ones that are easy to improve rather than like, oh, well, I'm going to try to improve the one where I'm already at the top of the leaderboard. Like, you're probably not going to make it anywhere. So I, I did a little bit of that and I lowered my time by like a minute, but I still need to lower it by like another two and a half minutes or something like that. So I'm still need to deal with that. And then Anarchy, another one. I, I did finish Tokyo. Was that the first world? Or first, like, city or whatever. I think I finished... I finished one of them. I think it was Tokyo, because I think I got the what? outfit for that. Outside of that, I, there's a lot of other stuff I need to do in that. Like, a lot of levels that it's like, this is going to be a fucking pain in the ass to finish it 100%. You did well, Panda. I did? I mean, yeah, I did. Because, you know, I used my Super Panda Bamboo awesomeness and yeah i was only pretending to be asleep you know? so that level wasn't too bad i only had to restart once so that's a that actually I, need you to I guess now that i'm actually like used to it like when i did it the first time i wasn't used to it in the slightest now that i'm used to it it's not it really wasn't that bad we've got to do something next one's Master lake Clint, of tears which is the first level that i can actually die in if i die i just need to reload let me get my stuff. But I'm going to also try to be careful so I don't have to worry about that. So I don't have to worry about reloading. Yeah. Level 4. 100% on Dragon Warrior. And I also have all the collectibles so far. Um. I don't even need block anymore. Like, I was raising block so that I had, you know, more damage so that I could t get the untouchable achievement easier. I don't even need that anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Um, fast attack, strong attack. Fa I use fast attack way more. Those are really the only two that I need. And then I'll upgrade like the other normal attacks. Special like panda techniques. Maybe the belly one because I need that toward the end. But everything else. What is fun ball? I don't even know what fun ball is. Next level. Okay, this one's the turtle egg one. And the Black Hoof Boar clan defeated the Dragon Warrior. There, I said it, was feeling pretty good. Maybe now Master Shifu would start to see his awesomeness. Nope. Master Shifu totally stiffed him. Shut up. Man, that was a beating. Master Crane, and you must be Poe. We've heard about you. Thank goodness. Did you? Oh, it's been awful. The crocodiles, they're everywhere. They're trying to oh, steal no. hatchling eggs. Crocs? I'm really more of a boar specialist. Uh, Master Crane handles crocs. Ahem. <clears throat> Master Shifu said this is for you to do, Poe. My Poe, you must be an experienced warrior. Well, uh... But you have years of training. Well, uh... Okay. Then, how are you at finding eggs? Eggs? Me? Tops. Oh, well, then, that's the plan. You're on... Yeah. Food? Good. You Goodbye. got that covered. Okay. You got that covered, Poe. Goodbye, Poe. I'll meet you on the other side of the lake. Wait. Other side? What? Here comes the pain. Pandas can't ah. swim. Kung Fu Panda taught me that. Don't know how true it is, but... It's true in this situation, at least. Please find the remaining Shut up. I'm getting there. Quit asking me things. There's one. Also, I haven't died yet, so... I just jinxed it. 
I'm probably gonna die any second now. Oh! I don't think I noticed that the first time I went through this level. Um... Alright. Good to know. Good to know. And... Crocodiles. Oh no, I was hit. How am I going to get the untouchable achievement in this level now? It's just that that's one that's like the only achievement that it's like this one's going to suck. <clears throat> so, I'm really glad I don't have to worry about that in the slightest. I am so glad that But yeah, I guess I guess getting hit doesn't count for traps. Like I mean, that's good to know. I wish I would have known that. In the first place, I would have gotten it, however, like, I've, I've redone that level so many times just trying to, trying to get a good run at it and keep hitting traps. I never got hit by, well, there was the one time I got hit by one of the, the things, but most of the time I was getting hit by traps. I wasn't getting hit by enemies, like the, whatever they are. Thanks for helping me out. Now I'll give you uh, Okay. This is five. I think that way is six. <laughs> Alright, that was the only breakable thing. The other ones are throwables. Ooh, okay, almost missed that one, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I was completely fine. Yeah, let's not worry about jumping that way. Let's jump back. Oh. Turtles. Right, I can bounce off the turtles. Forgot about that. I was like, where's the next one? And it said, jump off the turtle you just saved? What? It's like, oh. The one that's uh, over here. All right, so come over here, bounce, egg, done. I'm really hoping, the only thing that I'm kind of worried about is that, that unlock everything uh, thing means I need to unlock all upgrades as well. I don't think it does, but I'm kind of scared that it does mean that. So, crossing my fingers, hoping for the best. Uh, where did the second turtle go? Alright. Oh! Go, no. Stop that. I... I don't want to keep jinxing it, but I am genuinely surprised I have not fallen into the water yet. I don't know if I'm actually being, like, more careful. I, I can't tell whether I'm being more careful or if I'm just getting lucky. Like, I genuinely can't tell which it is. I think there's a coin up here. Yep, I, I remembered that. That coin I remembered. Uh. Okay. Now to save the other turtles... No, that was just three coins. That was pointless. Shouldn't have even bothered. What was the point of that? It does kind of suck that this is going to take longer. Because, speaking of, like, games that I want to play. Not even, not even new games that I want to play. I mentioned in one of the other episodes, uh, Metroid Prime. Another one of those games that was kind of like... You know what? I, sh I should start that at some point. But now it's like, well, I could start that or play any of the other... Play any of the other games that I have started that I need to finish. So that's all the turtles saved. I mean, maybe I'll still, uh... 
Maybe I could. I mean, I could still start it. I don't need to. It's it's just one of those. I don't know if I want to start it just because I have so many other games started. That's the issue. It has nothing to do with oh well I don't want to play this because it's on like like I know there's um <laughs> what was it it was um over this way now it's when rare replay came out. I, I mentioned this in another video. I don't know, remember whether it was a Rare Replay video or not. It might have been in my Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie video. Um, but when Rare Replay came out, because they claimed it's like, oh, you get 10,000 gamer score, which you kind of do in a way, because it's like 4,000 in game and then like 6,000 from the Xbox 360 titles. So you do kind of get... Fuck. The thing's back this way. The figure that I need. So you do still get 10,000 gamer score. It's just if you've already played the other games, you you don't get that gamer score again. But for anyone that hasn't played the games like me, I played Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, uh, like Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise, and nuts and bolts, so any achievements I already had for those, I'm not gonna get again. But, for any, like, for anyone that hasn't played those games, you know, they still don't get the, like, they get the, uh, for anyone that hasn't played those games, it is 10,000 gamer score, so they didn't really, like, everyone's like, oh, well, they, like, complaining because it's like, oh, they made it sound like this game gives you a 10,000 gamer score, not... 10,000 gamer score with the 360 titles. But the... The, like, funniest thing that I heard that was like, are, are you... What? Like, the thing that I heard that made the least sense was someone saying, like, oh, well... I was hoping that... I was hoping that, you know, they would be completely separate achievements. I want an excuse to play play, like, Banjo-Kazooie again, or, like, play, like, one of these other games again, it's like, why do you need an excuse to play it? Just fucking play it. I've beaten Banjo-Kazooie, I think, three times total? Banjo, or at least Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Kazooie, I don't know if I ever beat on N64, but Banjo-Tooie, at the very least, I've beaten... Three times at least. I think I beat it multiple times on N64, but I've beaten it at least once on N64. I beat it on 360. Then when I got got Rare Replay, I wasn't like, oh, well, now I need an excuse to play this. It was, hey, I'm just gonna play it. I don't I don't give a shit. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Like, I didn't need an excuse to replay it. Oh. There's Hello. just, there's just certain people yeah. that get too crazy about the achievements like I started achievement hunting and it definitely like encourages me to finish more games just because it's like oh well you know get it all the achievements and everything um but I feel like there are some people that get too crazy about achievements it's like what there's, there's this game that's super fun but or this game that I've played before that I really want to play again. Oh, but there's no achievements. Guess I'm not going to play it. I can literally just set my controller down at this point. Because he can't kill me. He can just hit me. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, I'm not going to completely... I'm not going to complete set it down. Because I think it vibrates if I get hit. And I don't want it to be like rumbling on my... Uh, on my desk. Yep, it does vibrate. Okay, so... I've done three levels. I actually might end it after this one, because the next level's... The one with all the climbing ropes that I need to knock down and all that other stuff. It's one of those that might take a while, so... Level seven's not long, but level... Level 7 and 9 aren't long, but level 6 
is a decent amount of time, so I probably will end it here. Especially since now I know I can I can do slightly shorter episodes because all I need to do is finish the game. I don't need to replay levels to not get hit, or like I don't have to worry about not getting hit. I don't have to worry about um uh getting combos or anything. The only thing I have to worry about is not dying. Which is literally just, hey, don't fall into anything. Speaking of, really surprised I did not die during that level. I am so shocked. Because this is the first time I... No, first time I died in the last one was in level 3 because I didn't have a vil an, an invulnerability and I did not care about the traps in the slightest, but... But when it comes to, uh... Like, this... This level is the first time I actually died, not from losing all my health. I, I helped, you know. So. Oh yeah, good flapping. Good flapping. Ah, cute little guy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just I love kung fu. Good for you, Poe. Good for you. Um. Raise the strong attack. And raise the iron belly. Alright. It's a good place to end this. Three levels. Was it? Eight more levels? So it it should be three episodes. If it's any more than three episodes, something's wrong. <laughs> so I should it should bring me to ten episodes. Which is it still surprises me why the the walkthrough says, oh, this should be 15 to 20 hours. Like, even grinding the money really didn't take that long. I did that before the last episode, and it took way less time than I thought it was going to. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, for now, I'm going to end this episode here. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.